it smells so good. Smell that, guys. Mmm, it smells so good, you can probably smell it through YouTube. It's gonna be so good. I haven't eaten anything all day yet. All right, so today we're taking a look at the Jetboil Flash. Here I have the Java kit. You can buy the the regular Jetboil Flash, and uh, those usually come in black, but you can get them in all different types of colors. The Java kit I've only seen in this specific color, this uh, green here. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a tip on how to pack all these things in here. I don't know, one day I had this stroke of genius, I guess, and I just got it all in there. I guess I'm just an idiot, but I figured it out. <laughs> so uh, I know I'm not the only one who struggles with fitting everything in here. So uh, we're going to take a look at that as well. So now at first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw all of the specs right here on the screen. Uh, from Jetboil's website. We're gonna talk about some pros and cons of this specific product, but don't get me wrong, there's not actually any cons to the product itself. And I know somebody, some people will say, that's insane, no there is cons. There, there's not necessarily cons to the product, there might be cons to the application that you're using the product in. So for me, I, don't really like packing this in my in my backpack when I'm backpacking. For you, you might like doing that. Um, for me, where I love to keep this <laughs> is right here. I keep it right here in my fishing bag. And I have some coffee in there, some tea. I have some oatmeal back here. And I keep in here a, uh, a little skillet, a little folding skillet, and uh, a couple other knickknacks. So if I catch a fish, I can fry it up real quick on the fly out in the field. I can make a cup of coffee and it'll it'll happen quickly. That's how I use it. For, for that application, for me specifically, this is a perfect product. It might be a perfect product for you on a through hike because all you have to do is boil water for backpacking meals. All you have to do is boil water for tea. All you have to do is boil water for coffee. This will be a perfect thing for you because it really is not that heavy. Um, people will, will, will say this is super heavy, but to tell you the truth, when I load this thing up with my canister, so this is like your what most backpackers like to take, you know, when I load this thing up with, with all of my gear, my stove, my canister, to tell you the truth, the, the, the difference in weight is minimal. I know, I know everything matters, but the difference in weight is minimal. So, it's, it's not a big deal. So you'll see there's a lid, and the lid doubles as a straining source if you wanna make some pasta in here, or something like that. Uh, if you wanna drink directly out of the lid, there is a, a little spout right there. If you wanna pour out of here into a cup, that works great as well. And then you're going to see this hole here, which is the hole where um, the Java press, French press, is, is, it's what it is, is, uh, is gonna go in there. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. I keep my stove top in here. It's that. I believe I paid 10 bucks for this at Cabela's. Then my 100 gram canister. This can be of any, of any uh, brand, MSR, or whatever, any brand. As long as it's 100 gram, it'll fit in the same. Here I have the two um, rods that go together to make the Java press, French press thing. And those nest right in between the stove. Then I have the little tripod that comes with it. And this stuff is optional. So I mean, if you wanna make it a, a lighter kit, 
you don't have to take everything. You can leave this at home. If you're never going to use a pan, you can leave this at home. You know, if you're not going to if you're going to drink cowboy coffee, you can leave this at home with the kid. And then what I what I do is I can you see that? Yeah, you can see it kind of. What I do is I just throw the um, the French press right in the bottom. I take this screw it in and I take it out that way. And that's your French press. So now let's talk about all this stuff and talk about why you would want to choose something like this over, you know, a kit like this. Or, you know, a kit that you can stick into like, you know, your, you know, inexpensive Stanley, oh Lord Jesus, inexpensive Jan Stanley, um, Stanley pot. What I love about the jet boil is that it's everything in one. So on the bottom here, I have a cup that I never ever use, but you can use it as a cup. You can use it as a bowl for oatmeal. You could use it as a bunch of things. I personally don't use it, but you can use it that way. As some graduation markers that tell you, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Oh yeah, totally. Has some graduation markers there that'll tell you when you're at a cup, which is pretty sweet. Also it doubles as protection for your um, your rings down there. And this, this system here, you see this coil system, all of that, that's what traps in the heat and makes it able to boil water as quickly as it does, which is, that, which is insanely quick. It's insanely quick. Um, you've seen that in a bunch of videos. If you're watching other videos, you've seen that. I'm not gonna boil, boil water here, but um, you've seen how quick it boils water. The reason why I don't think it's very necessary to boil water here uh, is e your circumstance is always going to be different. Um, me, I get my water out of a, out of a running creek or a stream, and uh, the water is usually ice cold. It's like straight up glacier runoff cold, and um, it's going to take a little bit longer for me to boil the water. It's usually colder outside where I'm boiling water. It's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, the circumstances that you're in. Are going to differ but I do not think it's going to differ over 60 seconds um, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal so to each their own I mean whatever you want but I think this is the fastest way you can boil water in the field and with that being said I do think that this is the best product uh, the jet boil product um, the, the only one that I haven't used yet is the new MSR one I've used all of the other ones and I like this one the best. Maybe it's just because it's jet boil. I don't know. Um, but I like this one the best. I really, I really love it. And the other things that I come in contact with that I end up owning, I end up selling. And this one I've had for a really long time. You have the cup on the bottom. You have this neoprene casing here, which comes off. You can buy different ones and stuff if you want to get super fancy. The neoprene casing doubles as a koozie. So it keeps what you have in there hot. And it also doubles as insulation for your hand. So when this thing is piping hot, I can grab this thing and I can take it off. It also has kind of like a, a mug holder here. It's really high quality, stitched a ton on there. And uh, it's good. And they're stitched really good. I've never had a problem with it. Uh, I've been using this thing out in the field for a long time. It still looks good. still looks clean. All I do is boil water in it. But um, got a couple dings and nicks here. But that's it. So to use the product, I'm going to take this, this cup off. Make sure this is closed. On here it has um, little indicators, plus and minus there. To tell you when you're at the, the most and at the least. You're going to want to screw this on here. And then what I like about it is this thing has its personal little igniter. So technically you don't need a lighter, but if you're outside, you should have a lighter. So a little igniter there, piezo igniter. I'm very surprised that I remembered that word. Piezo, piezo. This little guy here, I take it and I love it because I'm never, ever on level ground, ever. I mean, I could find a rock, I'm sure and make it happen, but that'll put me level. And I really, really like that. You wanna light this, you put this on, 
and you just light it. And check that out. So, that's what you, what you just saw was the jet in jet boil. You see it? It's like that. It's kind of like a, you know, Dragon Ball Z, like, you know, and that might bother you, okay? It doesn't bother me because when I'm when I'm out, I'm usually by a stream that's rushing anyway, and there's a ton of noise out there anyway. But um, let's say you're in solitude at your camp and you don't want noise, that might bother you. You know, these are all things you have to take into consideration. Uh, if that bothers you, maybe you'd rather use something like, uh, you know, a, a little gasifier twig stove or a alcohol stove, which I have, but I don't know where it is. Or an alcohol stove or a solid fuel method. You know, there's so many methods you can go through to get the same result. But with the twig stove, with the solid fuel, with the uh, the alcohol, dude, in the temperatures that I use this in, in the wind that I use this in, I wouldn't be surprised if it takes me 15 to 20 minutes to boil a cup of water. Not even kidding. So that's where this thing shines. When when you when you're out there when it's windy, you put this thing on here, clicks on that like that, that jet goes right to the top there and it boils water insanely quick. It's awesome. I think two two minutes, two and a half minutes in, in, in freezing temperatures, guys. Um, one thing to, to note is when it is that cold, take your canister and put it in the coat in the in the pocket of your car heart, put it in the pocket of your jacket, because um this thing ain't gonna light. Or like usually I put it by my stove in the hot tent. You know you, you gotta you gotta take care of your canisters or they're not gonna light. I've noticed that these these do a little bit better than these in the cold. Uh, it might all be in my mind, I don't know, but uh, I've used these in the cold and had better luck, and these have been a little bit more finicky. Now let's talk about the, um, the stove attachment. So if you can see on there, it has little, a little indicator lock, unlock. You just throw it on there like so, and then you just throw it in there, and boom, it's locked on. One thing I want to tell you about this this specific stove, the whole setup, is there is no simmer to this. So let's say I take um, the Jetboil, I think it's called the Mini Mo or something. I don't know. Let's say I take a stove like this, or like the BRS for instance, or other stoves. I have way too many stoves. That's why I have this canister here. I want to show you guys this. So when I put this on, I'm going to go ahead and light this. You see that? You see how I can put it up to get it to do kind of like what the jet foil does. But then I can put it down. Put it down to almost nothing. That's still on. It's just flickering away there. Look at that. That's still on. That's just simmering. That's what I mean by a simmer. This essentially has no settings. Um, I have gotten it, I've messed around with it and gotten it to kind of simmer, but the simmer it has no control. It's, 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 re it's either insanely low, almost nothing, or super high. What do I do to combat, combat that? I have cooked fish on here completely fine. Um, I've cooked all types of stuff on a pan completely fine. What I do to combat that is, is it matters what you use with it. That's why I love this Stanley um, pan, which I'm gonna do a review on eventually. I love this pan. It's heavy, heavy as heck though. <laughs> but you see down on the bottom there how it has that extra layer, a thicker layer of stainless steel. Then it's a thick layer of stainless steel. That's what you want. Something like that. You put that on there and it's going to work phenomenally. If you use an aluminum pan on here, it's going to be terrible. It's going to scorch your food. It's going to scorch your eggs. It's going to put all the heat right in the middle or wherever it is on the pan. 
if you use a titanium pan on this thing, I can't even imagine. You're gonna have a very, very bad time. If you use something like this, or if you use maybe a small uh, cast iron skillet, something like that, you're gonna have a great time with this and you're not gonna have any issues. You're not gonna have any hotspot issues. So keep that stuff in mind when you're using this. Like I said in the beginning of the video, people will go and say there's pros and cons to things, but it's not necessary. Some, some products just suck and that's why I don't own them. But some products are great, but the cons come when you use them in the wrong way or you use them for the wrong application. You use them for something they weren't made to do. You know, this isn't, this isn't really a, uh, a Swiss Army knife. It's made to do one thing well, and the other things that it does, it gets it done, but it doesn't do it as well as, you know, boiling your water as quick as possible. So keep that in mind when you're, um, when you're checking out a, a product like this. Now that we've talked about that, let's speak about the, the French press. I absolutely love this thing. So what I do is, uh, this is how I use it. I boil my water, right? Usually I'm, I'm still fishing, so I'll put my water boil and I'll just go cast, make a couple casts. My water will boil. After it boils, I throw in a couple spoons of my coffee or my tea. You know? So I'll throw in some tea or I'll throw in some coffee you know, that I keep right there in my fishing bag. I'll throw it in. If I throw in coffee, I let it sit for about a minute or two. You know, mix it around when I throw it in, get it foamy on the top. Let it sit for a minute, because it's usually insanely hot anyway, so I just let it sit for a minute. Then what I do is I take this, and I put it in here, and I push it down, and I usually have another cup and I pour it into the other cup. Or I'll just drink it right out of here. Now, that's what I do. The correct thing to do. <laughs> I don't like drinking out of this and it's just my personal preference. I don't like drinking out of that. I don't like drinking out of regular, I don't like drinking out of anything. I don't like drinking out of straws. So it's just my personal preference. I don't like having like a, you know, like a, like a bottleneck for anything that I'm drinking. The right thing to do is to take this off here, put this through this hole here, then screw it on like, like so. So now you have something like that and you put this on here and now when you put that on here, you push down. and you press your, uh, your coffee. Now what that does is now you have this spout where you can drink out of, your coffee's already done, or you have this spout where you can pour out of. What's nice about this is like something like this, for instance, which is essentially, you know, a, a very similar thing. This gets really hot. And then when I go to pour it, it's, it's just a coffee press. This gets really hot, and then when I go out, when I go to pour it, I gotta, you know, deal with it. I gotta have leather gloves. I gotta use, you know, sticks or something to pour it out. <laughs> you know, I've gotten very creative with these things. Okay, which I love this as well. It has its, it has its, has its places where it shines. But with this, dude, it could be scorching hot, and you could just grab it and pour it. You never have to worry about it. It could be scorching hot. You can just grab it and drink it. You know, so that's 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 a, a huge a huge plus to the jet boil this whole koozie system, and the, you know they got it right, and that's why everybody copies them because they got it right. So another thing that happens uh, when your water's boiled, and when it's when it's when it's at a full boil and it's hot, this actually changes color. Uh, it turns uh, pretty much an orange like this, and these all change colors, so you know that your water is boiled. Uh, you will also know that your water is boiled because this thing is boiling violently. Which brings me to another thing. <laughs> you're, you're talking to an experienced jet boil owner. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you all the mistakes I made. 
So if you fill this thing up too much, there's a there's a max fill line down here, and it's a, it's actually pretty low. It's like halfway. Uh, you could fill it a little bit more than that. Uh, I've experimented. Um, you could fill it a little bit more than that. But dude, if you try to fill this thing up all the way, you're making a little a little bomb. Because what happens is, you fill it up all the way, that water gets to a boil, and this thing literally just gets violent. It's like water popping out everywhere. You can barely turn it off. You can barely grab it. You can't do anything because there's there's boiling water spilling out from anywhere. And that's happened to me over and over again because uh, I fill it up too much. So um, uh, their, their suggested line of, it says max safe fill in there, two cups. Probably pretty accurate. You should probably listen to it. I fill it up a little bit more so I can get a decent cup of oatmeal and a decent cup of coffee out of it. So when everything's in there, sorry, I don't have one of those fancy little kitchen scales. It's exactly seven inches from the top to the bottom. Diameter is uh, three and three quarters, which I'm sure is on the specs that I put on the screen at the beginning of the video. So not much more to say about it. Uh, except putting it away and getting all this stuff in there if you're gonna use the same the same uh, The same kit that I use It could be a little bit tricky to get it all to fit in there So let me show you how to how I do it, which you saw in the beginning, but I'll show you I'll show you again So what I do is I put the the coffee press in and I put that all the way down I hear people complain about not particularly this stove, but this stove that the piezo stops working The piezo's right there is that little thing right there which is a pretty delicate little system. And this one has the same exact one. It has it right there. And uh, so you have to protect that. But this, which I'm sure Jet Boyle made on purpose, um, this protects the piezo. So if you put it in like that, it just nests in there perfectly. Check that out. So now your piezo is protected. So now what you do is you put this upside down and you put your stove in there and boom, you got your stove, you got your uh, your Java press and you got your little uh, tripod. I used to not take the tripod because it didn't fit. I used to try to take stuff out because stuff didn't fit uh, until I like, you know, puzzled it all together. So now what you do is you put these two pieces right on the sides. Um, you can put them like this which is what I what I used to do when I didn't take a lot of things. Put them on the side there, but everything won't fit if you put it that way. So I put it, I tuck them right down on the sides. Tuck them right down on the sides there. Now you get like this perfect nest with your 100 gram canister. Put your 100 gram canister right down there. And then you can put your stove top, which I always take the stove top in case I want to fry up a fish. And boom, everything fits in there with space to spare. Now you can put your top on snugly and boom, everything's in there. Throw it back in your, um, in my case, my fishing bag. <laughs> and boom, everything's all set. So guys, outdoor east, outdoor outdoors, everything fishing, everything outdoors. Uh, this can this channel is, is comprised of various things outdoors based. Um, my main thing I do is post fishing videos, uh, but I post all types of outdoor stuff. So you're into, if you're into that stuff, please consider subscribing. If you just want to stop by for the video, that's no problem as well. But if you can do me a favor and leave me a comment down below or a like, that would be very appreciated. And I just want to say God bless you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying healthy. And I hope you guys are having a blessed winter season. In Jesus' name. Love you guys.